my YouTuber friends doing, family, and all the above. You, you saw the B-Row, or whatever it's called. Huh. Here we go, folks. We got four of them. Four of the John Deere CP690. It's the Beller uh, cotton picker. All four of them same. Well, not the same. Not the same. Three of them are the same. As you can look right here, see here, we got stickers on both sides of the wheel. We'll come over here. We got stickers on both sides of the wheels. Sticker on both sides of the wheels. And stickers on both sides of the wheels. But wait, 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 what's this? That is a small track. Those look different. I really don't know, folks. Uh oh, wait, wait, what's this? This one's got duels. That's right, folks. That one's got duels. And then, uh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell them apart, ain't it? But this one here, this one should be the uh, Giants DLC. And the other ones is from another modder. Let's go into the store real quick. I should have done had it over on it, but uh, we're gonna go here. And as you can see, this is the John Deere Cotton Pack CP690. We're gonna go in here. All you get is the duels. Uh, the working speed is a different mod. Um, GPS, you can get GPS on it. And uh, as you can see there, 15 miles per hour, 10,000 liters at 590 horsepower. This is just the plain drain. Uh, should, I think I got this in at least, but you can see there, 43,962, and a total price of 862 thousand dollars and this one here is uh, the loose cotton uh, I don't have all the stuff we're not going to do this one on this map but it's just uh, basically it blows loose cotton back in there and you dump it out in the module builder and then it packs but this one here as you can see right here we have two that we bought and we got one that is leased and if you go in here you now have the options for duels thick tracks and row crop tracks and if you uh put that on be leasing these for forty-five thousand two hundred thirty-one, and uh buying costs of eight eighty-six nine hundred folks so we own two of these that's the row crop tracks and we're leasing one that has the thick track. So yeah, that's the deal. Uh, bought two and leasing the other two. Um, we got a lot of cotton to go there. We'll get to that in just a second. Right over here to the 8RX, we gave it a bath and also we picked up, this is a bale mover. It moves those bales. We're gonna bring them over somewhere. Um, really don't know yet, but we're gonna get them somewhere where the trailers can pick them up and uh, we can go sell them. But first, let's see, let's get in the first one. So it'll be this in here. We're gonna fire it up. Take a look on the inside. We got some awesome awesome graphics and stuff in here um see if well i can't fire it up i gotta fold it first but there's our joysticks and buttons and stuff and our gauges on the side there 
and uh, we're going to pop back out. We're going to zoom in and watch this guy fold up. Watch this. This is awesome to me. The front there extends up. It holds so much of a cotton and then when it gets so full it shoots it out to the back part which then rolls it into a bale. And um, turn on harvester. Header automatically lowers to the ground, so I don't like that. It shouldn't automatically. But as you can see, press bales today, zero, total zero. We're going to do 10,000 liter bales. And um, go from there. Uh, we can reset bale counter, which we don't have to do that. That's both the right B and left B buttons. So yeah, that's what you, uh, all the stuff you can do with it. Now let's go inside, see what, that screen still hasn't come on. Oh, that's what you get there. Um, you can see the little gauges move on that there. So that's good. We're gonna turn the beller off and we're gonna drive all the way over here. Oh, look like that little lag there. And just for y'all to know, I'm on a new computer and Sonoka gets 60 frames per second. And this in here has been around 25 to 30. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, you know, the settings on high and stuff like that. So, with the old computer, I was getting like 5 to 12, somewhere in there. Well, this thing moved pretty good, 16 mile an hour. Now, I am going to start him about right here because I know he's not going to like that. Uh, we're going to turn our GPS on. We're going to hire a worker, but I, I like to get it set up just in case. Let's see. This should be east to west, I think. And auto width. No offset. And go back. And we're going to line this up the best we can. About right in here. And do that. Just scoot our stuff over. We locked on. And we're going to turn it on. Lower the header down. And that looks about right. So we're going to go ahead and start picking. Six mile an hour. Screen still ain't all over there, but as you can see on our little help menu there, we are getting cotton in. Okay. And you can see the cotton blowing in there. Oh, the big tracks got crop destruction. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, well, that, that'll work. And this is a six row, which you, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's actually taking part of a seven one. But that'd be fine, that'd be fine. All right, now I'm gonna GPS off and, oh, no, I don't want the AI. Sorry, folks. AI is wanting to come on. We're gonna turn that off. And this hire a regular worker. And who we got in there? Well, it's so dark I can't tell it. Oh, that's uh, I don't know who that is. It's so dark I can't see it. Anyway, anyway, we are picking cotton, folks. A hired worker don't do crop destruction. Hmm. Okay. 
to start this bad boy up, we're going to do the same thing with him. Turn our GPS on. We're going to be east to west. Auto, no offset. I'm going to go ahead and fold this bad boy up. We're going over here and get started. And of course, we're going to do it the same way. Oh, it's wanted me to make a, a track on this one. All right, let's see. Let's do that. That should do it. I'm probably destroying the cotton. Yep, I just did. Shame on me, Mr. Blue. Alright, we are pick I don't really like that. Um Troll S again. Let's do this a couple times. That reset that. Yeah, that should be it. We should have a there we go. Just do this real quick. There we go. Grab a little bit. To make sure we're on our rows this right. And, oh. I forgot to do that. Why didn't y'all tell me about that, folks? All right. And, let's see if we'll make it through this dip here. Alright, take that off. Our worker. We're gonna go to our next one, start it up, fold it up. We're gonna go ahead and take that worker off. Alright, and it, this is the wide track one. Let's see, and that's the dual one, so that was our single track over there. And this guy here, I'm just going to hire a worker see how he's going to do. And we're going to hire about right in here. One, two, three. Should be right in here. You always put your stern wheel hub right there, right in the middle. So you got three on that side, three on that side. We're going to hire a worker. And let's jump back to our first. Whoop. Really? Okay, well, we're just going to let him do his thing. And this is our first one. Which I don't think dropped a bell yet. Let's go on our map real quick and see. Alright. Nope, no bell that I can see of. Oh, oh, it did drop a cotton bell. Okay. Um, oh, we're actually in it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And he's letting it off right away. So we don't got two bells. Oh, we're going to have a lot of bells, folks. We're going to have a lot of bells. Okay. I hope he goes. He should go straight, hopefully. And let's go fire this baby up. And no, folks, we're not going to use that right now. But we'll probably use it, say, after, you know, like on that strip right there, we can, because me the dumb dumb uh forgot to watch the worker and the worker went straight through oh that's where the sauce is at okay hmm. very interesting now this is the uh john deere cotton pack one and what i want to do is take it right on over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and take the uh, 
AI off. And we're going to open up this one more time. This will be the last time, folks. I always do it a couple times like that. That way, uh, some, it just seems like it acts better. Okay. And, of course, it's showing that in turn. Oh, I ain't made a thing yet. Turn on. Lower down. We got three right there. And we're going to make our own line this time. There we go. Let's make sure we're going good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take GPS off. Hire a worker. And let's go back to our first one. Oh. Oh, he made a bell. Didn't see it. Okay, he's going to be doing good. Well, we're going to just leave that little bit right there. Let him get this piece done. Uh, yeah, he'll stop on that side of the tank. Um, this is the one I want to watch. And uh, when he gets to the end, because I didn't should go that way, hopefully. And this one here we gotta do cross these ends here so they'll have a turnaround room so yeah we're gonna do that here in a minute oh we got some cotton that didn't make it it'll probably turn around there it looks like that little screen there should tell us the bottom one when to make the bail and stuff. Uh, I'm going to take my frames for a minute off. We're going to see what he's going to do before I take over. Okay, you're getting too close. You're too close to the comfort right there. All right. Trying to lock on GPS. Let's back on up some. Catch another couple of rows. Oh, I think I miscounted. Oops. Oops a daisy. Oh, wow. It's already been 18 minutes. Wow. Um... Yeah, I really don't know how to do this, but this, this is an introduction to cotton folks on this deal here. I think that's enough room for him to turn around. Let's uh, go ahead and let's see. One, two, three. I need to scoot over. What is scoot over as we go. Maybe we won't get too much cotton lost. But so far you've seen how many we're getting. We can only got at least six bales made probably. Speaking of bales, there's one there. Oh, I didn't want to leave it there. Trying to see where the other picker's at. Can't see. Well, there's one in front of us. He made it all the way through. I was hoping I'd get there before beforehand so we could uh, give him a turnaround room. So I guess we're going to wait 
and see how he does. I wonder if I can take the uh, that off and help. Oh, he's going to turn around that way, huh? Okay. Okay, we see how you're going to do. You're going to take that much room to turn around. Not bad. So, folks, what do y'all think about it? Yeah, we're harvesting cotton. About time, huh? I started out on Midwest Horizons. Uh-oh. Let me uh, back up here. You always want to raise your uh, header up when you go to back up. Uh, I, I'm trying to do this as realistic as possible, but whoa. And, and some of them do back off in the ditches like that. I hit her down. Yes, down. Okay. Um, sometimes it's, it's hard to tell where you're going on these uh, simulators, you know. It's like I'm sitting too far back in a seat. And uh, you can't really see where your header's at, so you have to kind of go third person to guess. Alright, there goes the bell. Uh... Wait, let's see. I don't want to. Oh, I didn't want it to unload it there. I'm looking. Let's see. Okay, I don't have it there. Let me push Alt and see if we got it here. It's turn off harvester, hire worker, change bell capacity, change load capacity. Left harvester, reset bell. So I guess we can't drop it when we want to. Oh, that's that's no good. I thought maybe we could. Uh, you know, um, drop the bell anywhere we wanted to. In real life, you can. Um, uh, if some of y'all watching that does do cotton with these machines uh, in real life or in game let me know if I'm doing something wrong because uh, yeah it, it's uh, I like to be able to carry a bell and, and drop it where I want to but I don't know if that's in this or not and I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and get a module truck in this uh, video. And my, this video might be a little long. There's our cotton bell, folks. Um, but what I'm going to do is go get the tractor and need to move these bells on the end here. So, um,. Oh, there's our guy. Uh, uh, I don't know who's driving what. You know, we got Mr. Yankee, Colin, Julian, Christy, Ice, Demon. Uh, we got quite a few folks out here, folks. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Quite a few folks out here, folks. Oh, I, I don't know what I'm talking. Oh, he just now making it to this end. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get lined up. One, two, three. See my GPS is... Whoa. Too fast, sir. I'm going to head her down. Alright. One, two, three. So that should be right there. There we go. See that how that's looking? Uh, about right. So I'm going to take it off. Our worker. Oh, that guy there is getting to town. Okay, let's see how many bells. Oh, my goodness, folks. Oh, my goodness. 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bales. Whew. Fifteen bales so far. And the purple is how much they just got harvested. Wow. That is a lot of bales. That is a lot of bales. Let's enter this tractor, folks. I'm going to get this guy down to the other end. And uh, I'll meet you there. All right, folks. I didn't want to get in the cotton there. So, oh, hit the bale. Don't want to get in the bushes either. That's it. It says to lower. You do it with that. And you can also, oh yeah, you can tilt it. Okay. Try it back under this thing. There we go. That should be all the way down. Okay, so it tries to. Okay, there we go. We're getting straps. Open front loader. I uh, don't look like we got any straps, so. Oh! Okay. So that works that way. You fold it out and then push up like that. Actually, I think I'm going about like that. And we got to put like 40s in a row. Oh, we got one there and one there, so it'd be three. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I'm just going to go ahead and drop them right here. Because that cotton picker won't be back through here, so let her down. And let's see, I need a tilt it that way and then do like that oh that's much easier that's much easier right there of course it's going to tear up a little cotton here and there to try to get these but you just uh, if you want in cab view just uh, try to get best even with it as possible and uh, let her down oh I'm messing up there and uh, do that about right there pick up on it and we also need to uh, tilt it like that yeah there we go and then we just put them in a, a, a row here I guess it takes them this away I really don't know how the module truck takes them so um, and then we'll do like that let it down and then get it with touching this a little bit back on up and let go like that I like to try to have them in line but it will be good enough uh, let's go get this one right here. I, I want to show y'all this. I don't know why it left the cotton like it did. So it was patch right there. I don't know if unloading caused that or what, but I really, 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 really don't know. All right, we got right there. We're going to let it down. Tilt. Close some, lift it up, and raise it up. And then we're going to go down here and put it in a row. And folks, we're already 30 minutes in, so I think um, I, I think I'm just going to call it the episode. You see what I'm doing here. We got a lot of bales to do it this way too. But on the next episode, um, I want to use 
um, a lot lot more of uh, the trailers so I'm gonna lower that down first try to back up where somewhat straight um, see do like that and drive off all right and raise that back up well that's pretty much it folks let's uh we'll park this tractor and we're going to see where the rest of them are at real quick so i'll be right back in a second all right um this guy's fixing to drop another bail there it goes closing and he also drops it on the ground now i don't know if i'll get this last row of cotton or not i might all depends all depends let's see let me jump out that way i get back to yeah there's a, this one over here so when that one gets done i'm gonna get that last row over there and this guy's wanting to turn around well it's all right one two three four five six almost seven bales of cotton well it will be seven probably yeah and this guy here is turning around here and yeah that's oh the oven's making one oh folks a and let's just look see how much uh um, I'm trying to think. Let's see here. Uh, t -t 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 created bales 31. Is it cotton bales anywhere? I think it's this. Unless I'm overlooking it. I don't see any other one so I guess it's in with the uh, that part oh I hit that and I don't know what it is but when I hit this in here it takes forever as you can see the background has frozen there we're not moving it takes a little bit but it's a lot better on the new computer than it was on the old computer because on the older computer it took forever folks it took forever uh, and that's just the brightness and stuff clock crosshairs stuff like that so oh and, and going off of it does the same thing too okay so and this in here we have 10 bells I don't know if that's fixing count as 11 or not. Or yep, that's 11 bales out of that. And, uh, six. So that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 and eight more, so 34. 34 bales. Oh yeah, this is the X9, by the way, uh, X9-1100, and we did buy this, and uh, I bought it too soon, actually, you know, it was the demo, and uh was having some problems, so I didn't know if it was the demo or not, but, or we, I know we're ready. Uh, yeah, so you can see in the bottom right there, right, well, it's not our wheat, it's this guy's wheat. Um, speaking of this guy's wheat, we're going to go in here real quick. And the loan is zero. And we spent that much money today. And that's how much we got left. We're going to go in here. As you can see, I have a lot of fertilizing, cultivating contracts that I need to do. Oh, it's always, uh, 
a challenge. But anyway, y'all see what they are? We're going to add them up yourself if you want to. I'm just going to collect them and, and get them finalized, you know. Eighty-five thousand for that. Sounds like dollar signs going up, folks. As you can see there. Um, now this field 15 I can't get it to let me sow it says I do not own the ground so maybe um, and I'm trying to see if there's anything for field 27 I still don't see anything for field 27 so unless I just overlooked it but anyway and now we're back up there 1.7 million folks uh oh y'all know what time well I think I wasn't recording when uh, I've done all those contracts I, I hope it did but I had a bunch of them and I was talking about Phil 15 wouldn't let me sew it so I had to collect some of them Still got a bunch of more contracts to do, sowing, fertilizing, cultivating. Um, but I also went through and counted all the bales. So we got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, looks like 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and I'm pretty sure one just dropped one and be 40. Uh, I gotta get in this other picker. Yeah, this in here. Alright, he stopped. I don't have to do nothing. I'm just gonna turn around and get this last row, folks. Oh, button's dropping another one gonna be a lot of money folks let's show you what it's going for right now um, cotton is going for highest place is uh, Laredo grain all of it is in the nine thousands folks nine thousand four hundred thirty three dollars and ten cents um, is that a thousand liters or is it a ton I really don't know how it's going to sell. Hmm. But we might do some uh, sugar beets or potatoes um, on this map. I really don't know. Um, and also, let me go in here and show you your cows are doing pretty good. They're going to need some loving. Uh, Cattle East is 53% health, and other two, uh, the Cattle South is 77, so we're going to work on getting that health up there. Um, there's the outlook. All right, we've got some snow and stuff coming. We are on the third day of, of uh, autumn, so. And let's see what. Did I pass cotton? Wheat, barley, oak, Oh, right there. Duh. I uh, really don't know, but looks like maybe first day of spring. Cotton's up pretty good, so we might end up storing it. I don't know. But anyway, folks. Ooh, doing some donuts in the cotton picker. I want to get this last row in, and... Um, get some more of this harvested and on when we come back we'll probably be finish up the cotton harvest and getting all the bales up and stuff so uh, stay tuned for the next episode I really don't know when I'm going to release this but uh, yeah I got some doctor's appointments and stuff been going to um uh, 
that kids is uh, ACT expire test because they're going to online school so I have to take them uh, to Jonesboro for three days eight hours a day that's going to be just lovely but anyway folks I love each and every one of y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed this episode oh I just I love just love harvesting. Look at all those lights. Did I show y'all the lights? I don't think I showed y'all the lights. Boom. And boom. Look at that. Oh, we got lag on that. Y'all see that? Check out the back. This thing got lights everywhere, folks. Everywhere. Alright, that's enough of that. The folks, I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me and putting up with me and all that good stuff it makes me feel so good we've been at 600 subscribers for a while now so i am planning on doing some live streaming i just gotta figure out what time would be best for me and i'm thinking they're friday or saturday nights um that way i don't you know unless it's after uh june the fourth then I can probably do it anytime because those kids will be out of the school. I don't have to worry about keeping people up and stuff. And uh, probably go from there. So anyway, I'm going to get this cotton down to the nitty gritty folks. And I will catch you in the next episode. So y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will see y'all later. Bye. I didn't think they ever would have wanted to leave.